I don't really know how to start off this video, so I'm going to be starting off with talking about my day so far. So, this morning, I woke up, you know, rise and shine, woke up with the sunshine, you know, and I walked downstairs, brushed my teeth, ate some breakfast, you know, and while I was eating breakfast, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers' videos. His name is Optimus, and if you guys don't know who he is, he's like a commentator on, like, different things, you guys should go and check him out. And also, like, during that video, he was talking about... A a goldfish fiasco basically don't want to really spoil the video for you but you guys should go and check it out and it got me thinking about one of my past experiences in this past experience is fairly similar but far more worse than what this is so without further ado cue the intro my name is Raven Hearts and welcome to my channel so uh, anyways let's get right into the topic so in today's video I'm going to be talking about my past experience with, like, animals and stuff during my freshman year. So, without further ado, let's go. So, basically, freshman year, I'm sitting in biology, you know, I'm paying attention to the teacher, you know, and the actual teacher, you know, like, he was out during, like, hip surgery, basically. So, like, the class already was very wild. And he had these pet gerbils, you know, like they, they were fairly cute. They kind of look like mice, but like they were fairly cute and they'd run around and everything and people would like go up and look at them and you know, it, they just run around and the only rule pretty much was don't mess with them. Don't mess with the gerbils, all right? And you already know, people's, people are going to mess with the gerbils no matter what. And that's just what kids do, pretty much. And you'd think, hey, the maturity level has risen since middle school, you know? Going into freshman year. Clearly not. Clearly not at all, because what I'm about to tell you guys is fairly gruesome, but that's going to be later on in the video. So I'm just sitting there, you know, we've got like three class clowns and I'm not going to say their name, but these class clowns were absolutely terrible. They were like bullies, but also like, I don't know, stupid, pretty much like all class clowns. They just want attention pretty much because they probably don't get it enough at home, but that's an that's another topic for another video. So, anyways, they're just downright awful people, pretty much. And they would mess with the gerbils every once in a while, you know, like, they'd stick their finger down in there, mess it around, you know, just being awful people, pretty much. And just going against the rules, because, you know what, they can, I guess. And, pretty much, what ends up happening is, one day, somebody brings in a tampon. Yep, and... Y I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh. Like, are they throwing it around? Are they hitting people with it? No. They stuck it down in the gerbil cage and basically they videotaped it eating the tampon. That is right. They videotaped them eating a tampon. And that's not even the worst part. That is not the part I'm going to be getting to. But there were several instances. For example, they were sticking other things down in there, such as like uh, dog food, like different things that are not supposed to be consumed by gerbils. And basically this happened over and over and over again while the substitute teacher had her back turned and this was a very nice substitute teacher and she didn't want to overstep the boundaries a lot and she was like one of those step like those substitute teachers that would just sit back and just let things happen and not saying that she's an awful person but like if you're a substitute teacher you need to lay your foot down and sit, set authority seriously if you're a substitute teacher out there watching my video right now and you know what take this as a lesson this is what happens whenever you don't lay your foot down one day i'm walking into biology class normal freshman day you know <sighs> I wonder what they're going to do today. And anyways, like, this is fourth period. Everybody's waiting to get out, you know. As soon as that bell rings, bing, 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 you are straight out the door, pretty much. You are sprinting down the hall straight to the buses. At least I rode the bus at freshman year. I have no idea what you guys are doing or what you guys did. You might be a walker, car rider, or anything. But, like, that's besides the point. So I'm sitting there in fresh freshman class, you know, fourth period, just waiting to get out. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get out of class. Like, seriously, right now it's still summer vacation, and I am sorry that I have not been uploading a lot. I've just been without Wi-Fi. So, in the time of this recording, it's freaking, uh, summer vacation, so I have no idea whenever I'm uploading this. And I go back to school August 8th, so, yeah, that's whenever my content's gonna start slimming. But, like, I'm pre-recording a lot, but that's still besides the point. So I'm just sitting there, waiting to get out. And, you know, people are acting a fool, as always. And the teacher, substitute teacher, is trying to teach, and, you know, she's trying to lay her foot down, but it's already too late. 
once you start like giving a, some slack, people are just going to take advantage of it and they're going to slack off and they're going to act fools. It's just how the world works and it sucks. And people are just running around acting a fool, throwing tampons around. Yes, this happened on a regular basis. Tampons were getting thrown, bottle caps were getting flung, you know, that kind of stuff. And basically, I'm just sitting there taking it, you know, I'm just like, mm, I want to learn, I want to learn. And people are still acting a fool. And you know, this is stepping over the boundary of foolishness. One of the people had period pills. I mean, like, not period pills, but birth control pills. And they were thinking, you know what? Let's feed it to the gerbil. That's right. They were going to feed, well, they did end up feeding it to the gerbil. They ended up going down into the cage, pretty much, and handing the gerbil birth control pill. That's right. They ended up feeding it to him. And the gerbil, not knowingly, ate it. And we waited for a couple days, you know, to see what would happen. And wouldn't you know it, what everybody thought was going to happen and what everybody knew was going to happen, a, a pill made for humans at that dose was meant for like a 180 pound woman pretty much. Yeah, it was it was a big pill. And it ended up eat, eating it and dying. Yes. And my my freaking biology teacher loved these gerbils. And we already knew that. We knew that he loved the gerbils. So you know what ends up happening whenever the class clown gets let loose? That's what ends up happening. Things start dying. If you have a little pet or something, keep it away from the class clown, you know? They're stupid. And you know what they did about it? They laughed about it, pretty much. The class clowns ended up laughing about it because they knew that was going to happen. And you know what? Killing little innocent animals like that, for no reason, is cruel. And it's disgusting. And I hope that nobody ever has to do that. Cruel, disgusting. Period. And that's the story of how my class, cl like the class clowns in my biology class were, pretty much. They were awful people. And I also hope that you guys take this as a learning stepping stone, you know, to prevent this. I'm talking to you substitute teachers. All you substitute teachers out there, rage the comments, talk about what you would do to these kids if you were to end up seeing them. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, to you teachers out there, pick your substitute teachers wisely. I know, I know. You guys are wanting to get out and go, like, on vacation, or you're sick, or you need something quick. But please, if it's long-term, or even sh short-term, please pick your substitute teachers wisely, or else you end up with my substitute teacher. And I don't think you guys want that. My substitute teacher was awful. She was a good person, but just awful at what she did. And she used to be a teacher as well, so that must have, you know, been completely different. And, you know, I've never heard of such a thing. And I just hope this never happens to any of you guys, or like, somebody's not that dumb. I hope that that, that is a learning stone for you guys. Like I said, pick your substitute teachers wisely or else you'll end up with mine. Okay, and that does it for this video. If you guys could, please leave a like down below. Also, subscribe i know it's not really gonna matter within like the next month or so whenever the new freaking youtube rules come along but still hope you guys enjoyed and if you don't like and subscribe i swear to god i'll be like 007 james bond and sneak into your house and steal all your food your snack cakes everything that's right if you don't want to be starving for the next several weeks then i suggest you guys like also comment and also subscribe. And if you don't, like I said, I'll be like James Bond and sneak into your house. I don't think you guys want that. And if you guys do, you guys are weird. And without further ado, cue the outro. Peace out, guys.